Hello everybody, I want to start off this tutorial by giving a, a bit of background as to my colleagues and I. We are a team of students and professors at the University of West Florida doing research on the DevOps using Amazon's web services. The purpose of this tutorial is to inform and give a better understanding of the tools we discussed in our written tutorial. You can find our written tutorials link in the description box below. The audience that this video is intended for are people with a basic understanding of Amazon Web Services and Unix and people who are trying to automate their deployment process but are still having trouble wading through the documentation that Amazon has on these tools. Getting to automate your deployment process can be very difficult, especially if your company is rather large with a lot of moving parts, but the tools shown in this tutorial will help simplify that process by making it easier for developers to test and deploy their code. A brief overview of what we're going to be discussing in this tutorial are discussing the setup process for Amazon Web Services, our setup scripts, and our overview of their functions, and checking your deployments to see if they were successful. Now first you need to download the tutorial.zip file that we have in the description before you can continue with this tutorial because we will be basing it off of that tutorial.zip file. Once you have downloaded it, you can go ahead and continue with this tutorial. From this table of contents, you'll be able to access any section in this tutorial. The section will include a brief overview of what's going to be discussed in that section. Throughout the video, you'll be able to hit a next step button, which will take you to the next section in the series. This section is going to be on logging into Amazon Web Services and going over the different services we're going to be using in this tutorial. Let's go ahead and jump right into this tutorial. We're going to go ahead and head over to aws.amazon.com and sign into the console. The sign into the console button is going to be at the top right corner of the screen in the yellow button. Go ahead and click it. This button is going to redirect you to the sign in page for AWS services. It's going to require you to enter your email or phone number as well as your password. Once you've put in that information, go ahead and hit the sign in button. Once you sign in, you'll be at the Amazon Web Services Management Console. Before continuing with the tutorial, I highly advise you go to the top right of the screen. And if your region is not currently North Virginia region, to change it from whatever region you're in to the U.S. North Virginia region. We cannot say for certain that if you're in a different region that this video will work the same for you. The different AWS services we're going to be using today are EC2. S3 and Identity and Access Management or IAM. In this section we're going to be creating an S3 bucket. We're going to first go over to S3 and create a bucket. Once you click the S3 button it's going to take you to S3's management console. To create a bucket click the blue create bucket on the top left of the page. To create a bucket you're going to need a unique name as well as pick a region. For this tutorial, I'm picking the name CD Tutorial Video. Once you've named your bucket, go ahead and select US Standard as your region and then click Create. You'll now be able to see your newly created bucket in the list of buckets in the S3 Management Console. To return back to all the other AWS services, go ahead and click the orange cube at the top left of the screen. You'll now be returned to all the different categories and web services. In this section, we're going to be creating and managing different policies as well as creating a user which we'll be adding policies to. We're going to go ahead and head over to Identity and Access Management or IAM. This will bring you to the IAM Management Console and you're going to select Roles on the left hand side of the screen. We're going to be creating a new role. For a role, you're going to have to put in a role name. For this tutorial, I'll be using CD Tutorial EC2 Role Dash Video. Once you've selected the name, go ahead and hit the Next Step button. Now we're going to select Amazon EC2 as the type of role. We're not going to attach any policies at this time, so we're going to hit the next step button and then we're going to create the role. Now that we created the role, we're going to go ahead and select the newly created role in the list of roles. We're going to be in the permissions tab and we're going to go down and expand the inline policies. 
we're going to select the custom policy radio button and then we're going to select the select button this will bring you to the policy review page we're going to put in a policy name for this tutorial i'll be using cd tutorial policy ec2 s3 we'll be using the cd tutorial policy ec2 s3.json go ahead and select its contents and copy it then paste it into the policy document after you've pasted it into the policy document go ahead and select the 11th line and this is where you change your s3 bucket for this tutorial i use cd tutorial dash video once you have changed it click apply policy to view your newly created policy you can scroll down and you'll see your policy listed you can show it as well once you're ready go to the trust relationships tab and click the edit trust relationship and we are going to select the cd tutorial policy ec2 s3 trust.json and open it go ahead and select its contents copy it and replace whatever is in the policy document go ahead and update the trust relationship we're going to be creating another role go ahead and head over to the roles tab and select the create new role button i'll be calling this role cd tutorial service role dash video and then selecting the next step button for the role type uh, we'll be selecting aws code deploy the policy i'll be attaching is aws code deploy role once you've done those steps go ahead and create the role we're going to now head over to the users tab on the left hand side of the page and we're going to hit the create new users button you'll need a username for this tutorial i'll be using cd tutorial user dash video before you hit create make sure the generate and access key for each user box is selected hit the create button now you can either copy the security credentials for the user here and paste them into a text file or what I would recommend is hitting the download credentials and saving these to a secure spot. For the tutorial I'm going to change file name to CD tutorial credentials. Once you have saved your user's credentials you can select the close button next to the download credentials button to return to the list of users. Once you are back at the users list, select the newly created user. We're going to be attaching two different policies. Select the attach policy button in the manage to policies tab. We're going to be selecting Amazon EC2 full access as well as AWS code deploy full access. Once you've selected those, hit the attach policy button. We're going to now create three custom inline policies. We're going to select the radio button for custom policies and then we're going to select it. This policy name we're going to call CD Tutorial S3 Bucket Full. We're going to select the JSON CD Tutorial S3 Bucket Full document from the IAM policies. Go ahead and select its contents and copy it and paste it into the policy document. We're going to be changing line 11 on this policy to your S3 bucket. Mine I chose CD tutorial dash video. After that, we're going to apply the policy. Now we're going to create another inline policy by hitting the blue create user policy button. This one's going to be named CD tutorial cloud formation. In the policy document, we will get from the IAM policy folder. We're going to open up the CD tutorial cloudformation.json document and copy its contents and then paste it into the policy document. Now we are going to create the last policy for this user. This policy will be called CD tutorial IAM role. 
We're going to copy the contents of the CD tutorial IAM rules.json. We're going to copy its contents and paste it into the policy document. Then hit apply policy. We're going to now return to the Amazon Web Services. This section is going to be creating a key pair as well as creating an instance which you're going to be running the deployment off of. We're going to select the EC2 web service which is in the compute category. We're going to go to the left hand side of the page and scroll down to network and security. And we're going to be selecting key pairs. We're going to be creating a new key pair. The key pair name that I'll be using is CD Tutorial Key Pair Dash Video. Go ahead and create the key pair. This will be saved as a PM file. Later on, you're going to have to convert this file to a PPK format to be used in PuTTY or some other type of SSH tool. You can use either PuttyGen or any other type of conversion software. Now that we created the key pair, we're going to head over to the left hand side of the page and scroll up to the instance tab. We're going to select it. And we're going to select the launch instance button. The AMI we're going to be using is the Amazon Linux AMI. Go ahead and select it. And we're going to be using the normal t2.micro for this tutorial. We're going to go ahead and just review and launch. You can review everything on this page. We're going to hit the launch button and then we're going to go and choose the an existing key pair from the drop down menu. And then we're going to select the key pair we just made, which is CD tutorial key pair dash video. Make sure that you check the I acknowledge checkbox and then hit launch instance. To view your running instance from the launch status screen, go ahead and scroll down to the bottom and select the view instance button. You'll now see your instance starting up now. This section is going to be about SSHing into your instance and the process for deploying using code deploy. Now that your instance is up and running, we're going to go ahead and now SSH into the instance. To do so, go ahead and select the instance and then copy its public IP address. The SSH tool I'm going to be using is PuTTY. If you're using a different tool besides PuTTY, you're welcome to do so. You are first going to have to find your key pair. I've already changed the extension from a .pem to a .ppk so that I can work with PuTTY. You can use a tool like PuttyGen for this. Once you have gotten your key pair ready for authentication, go ahead and SSH. It's going to ask for a login. We're going to log in as ec2-user. Once we have logged in, we're going to run the command AWS configure. This allows us to log in or set up our credentials as the user we previously created. To do so, go to the CD tutorial credentials file that we saved earlier, and we're going to copy its credentials starting with its access key. After you've put in the access key, hit enter and you'll now be prompted to put in the secret access key. You'll find this as well in the Excel document. Once you have put in the secret access key, you'll be asked for the default region name. For this, we will be using us-east-1. And for the default output format, we are going to be using JSON for this tutorial. Now that you have done those two things, you now have to FTP your tutorial.zip into your instance. You can use either FileZilla or some other type of program. I'm going to stop the video right now and I'm going to put the tutorial onto the server. Okay, I've gone ahead and put the tutorial.zip onto the server. As you can see here, we're going to now use the command unzip space tutorial.zip to unzip the folder. You can now see the unzip tutorial by using the ls command. Now we are going to go into the tutorial. The files that are in the tutorial are cftemplate.json, cleanup.sh, deploy.sh, the folder I am policies, and the folder my app. We're going to go through and change a couple of things in these files. We're going to start off with the cftemplate.json file. I'm going to be using the vi or vi 
cf template.json. And we're going to key down the key name attribute. And we're going to change it to seated tutorial key pair dash video. As well as the I am instance profile attribute, we will be changing to CD tutorial EC2 roles dash video. I'm now I'm going to exit the template. Now I'm going to open the Vi editor for the deploy.sh script. We're going to be needing to change three different things in this file. The first one is going to be the S3 bucket. For this tutorial, we use CD tutorial dash video. The next one is going to be the service role that we use for creating a deployment group. Here we will be getting rid of the default service ARN. To find your ARN or service role, we're going to head over to the IAM Management Console on AWS. We're going to go over to the Roles tab on the left hand side of the screen. and We're going to select the service role that we created during this video and we're going to copy its role ARN and then we're going to paste it into the deploy.sh script. The last thing we're going to change with this deploy.sh script is the bucket name, the create deploy command. We're going to be changing it to the one we've been using which is cd tutorial dash video. Now I'm going to show you the other files that are in here starting with the cleanup.sh script. It's going to delete some of the resources that are created in the deploy script. This includes the CloudFormation stack as well as the application. If those aren't there, it won't do anything. We're now going to go into the app spec file. This shows that the application will be placed in the var slash my app folder on the instance we'll be creating and that we'll be using the start app.sh which is in the scripts folder on application startup. I'll also show you what's in the app data folder, which is just a normal index.html file. We're going to now go into the scripts folder, which contains the start app.sh script. Now the last thing we're going to have to do is make sure that we give executable permission to these files. So to do that, we're going to use the chmod plus x cleanup.sh script for the cleanup script, as well as the ch mod plus x deploy.sh to give it executable permissions. You'll know that these worked once you use the ls commands and they'll show up as green. After that we can now go ahead and run the deploy.sh script, the dot slash deploy.sh command, and this will start the deploy.sh script. This should take about six minutes to complete. Okay, the script just finished. We have done a successful deployment. We're going to now point our browser to the newly created instance's IP. To do so, we're going to head over to EC2. We're going to go to our running instances, and we're going to find the tutorial instance. We're going to select it and copy its IP address. I'm going to now open a new tag and paste in the IP address, as well as a colon. 8000 or 8000 and now you will see the test page which shows we have successfully did a deployment to our newly created instance. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope that it answered some of your questions. If you have any more questions make sure to go to the description box below and find the tutorial link. It will take you to our written tutorial, which this video was based off of, which I'm sure will be able to answer any and all extra questions you might have.